everyone. Welcome back to the 31 Days to a Better Photo series here at my3boybarians.com. Today I want to talk about layer masks. And um, a lot of people get really confused about layers masks. Layer masks. I keep saying layers masks. I guess because you do have many layers. Um, but it's really not it's really not terribly confusing after you see it in action. And so um, I have a photo here that I want to show you some things on and how layer masks work. Um, this photo is straight out of camera. Uh, no edits have been made to it. And um, I'm going to walk through a couple steps that I would make to edit it and then show you how, um, how I would change it. Now, the first thing about this photo is I really like uh, the lighting on the background here of the girls. I backlit the girls because they have this beautiful blonde hair. And I knew that it would make all of these, these curls and these wisps uh, look really beautiful. But when you do that, when you put your subjects with their backs to the sun, you risk this, which is great lighting for the background and not so great lighting for the foreground. So how do you adjust a photo where the lighting from the foreground and the background is different? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to the adjustments panel and I'm going to go to Curves, and I'm going to slide this picture of the girls over because it's really um, the part on them that I'm going to focus on. So when I go here, I can drop on their skin and sort of find about, okay, so that's about where their skin tones are here in the mid-tone. So I can drag this up with my cursor and bring up their skin tones a little bit lighter the way that I like. Okay, so now here's the curves layer here down on my layers. And if you don't see this part, make sure you go up here um, to your window and make sure that you have this um, area here called layers checked so that it shows up. Um, so let's toggle that off. You can see it gets darker. And toggle that back on and you can see it gets lighter. Now, um, as I mentioned before, I really liked the way that the background was looking already. And I think when I bump up the curves here, uh, I think it really makes my background too light. So what I want to do instead is have this curve only affect the girls and not the background. So what I want to do here, how it's white, is I want to go here to black and if you don't have your foreground and background colors set to default you can go ahead and click this here and you can click X to switch them and then we're going to go to a very soft brush. The way that you know that your brush is soft is um, either by looking and some of you will see a list you could choose to have it show as a, as a, as a picture or as a list. Um, so I just choose the soft round. You want this so the edges are not so so harsh. Okay, so now we have a brush. And with the black, I can come in here and I can, whoops, let's check the opacity here. This is from a former thing. We're going to bring this opacity up to 100 and a flow of 100. And when we paint on the background, what we're going to do is we're going to hide or mask the edits that we created with those curves. So basically we're telling this curves layer we only want this part left white to show through, to be affected with that. And the rest of it, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, I'm going to zoom out on my navigator. The rest of it we're going to paint with black to show that um, we want it to remain as it was. And again, this kind of stuff is, um, is purely personal. There's, it, it's not, there's no right or wrong way on how you choose to edit your photos. Okay, so um, now that we've done this, you can see here on my layer that part of it is black and part is white. So now when we turn this off, you can see that the edits have only affected where the girls are. Okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. And I'm going to bring my brush size down. You can do that by the brackets key next to the letter P. And that will help with the, the sort of halo that can happen around them. 
get it very small to get in there. You can go in here too if you want to, between the brows. And this, doing this will allow it to get a little bit closer than just the, the rough edit that I sort of did first. Um, so it's a little bit more realistic looking. And you can toggle this on and off a couple times to see if there's any areas that stand out uh, to you as not being, not blending well. And so you simply paint with black and a soft brush the areas that you don't want affected. So now my girls are a little bit better lit and the background is still dark like it was before. Now let's say we wanted to add a little contrast. Let's go to our adjustments, Let's hit the back arrow. We're gonna go to brightness and contrast. Um, and here's the contrast slider. If you slide down, the photo will lose contrast. And if you slide up, the photo will gain contrast. Now when I wanna bump contrast, I don't really want to bump contrast up on the girls. I really just sort of want it on the background. Let's zoom out so you can see. There's without it, and there's with it. And if I only wanted to do the background, I could. I can do two things. I can either push, while I hover my cursor over the box, I can either push Command or Control I to inverse and turn it all black, or I could paint with black. So the way this is set up now, if it's black, all of the edits that I told it to do are not showing. If I want the edits to show, I need to come over here to my foreground and background colors and make them white, choose my brush, and then go ahead and paint with white where I want the contrast to show. Now, one thing um, with with layers that you can do that's really cool. We said that they have to be in black and white uh, with the foreground and background colors, right? Now that I've painted on this contrast onto the background, let's say I wanted to put on a little bit of contrast on the girls, but maybe not this full strength of this layer. I have two choices. I could create a whole nother layer and do the contrast just for the girls, or I could go to the opacity up here, slide my slider down to about 30%, and with the white, I could paint on about 30% of the contrast strength onto the girls. Now, after I do that, over here on the layers mask, you'll notice that it's white and gray. The reason why it's gray and not black is because we've done a very low opacity strength. So let's toggle this off so you can see. Let's bring it back and go up close. Let's slide this over here a little bit. Oops. I'm going to turn that off and then back on and you can see a little bit of the contrast done on their skin. So anytime that you want to do um, an edit that you don't want to affect the entire image, you can simply do a layers mask. And that allows you to edit portions of the picture separately from others, such as this, the foreground of the girls and the background um, of the uh, forest here. So um, that's a very, very brief introduction to layer masks. If you have any questions, I welcome you to ask in comments, and I will try to get back uh, to you as quickly as possible. All right, thanks.